Judging from the past, the travel industry will rebound. As people feel isolated in their homes, a few people have been inspired by UTB's on-demand video released during lockdown to travel Uganda, and they look forward to traveling more around the country. What's your advice to SMEs that are operating in the sector right now? Well, our advice is basically for them to make sure they do their best put in place the necessary measures that will ensure that the guests, the travelers come to their facilities. Because minus that, you know, things are not going to go back to what they used to be. That is out. So however small, medium size, you know, your business is, the norms have changed. We are not going back to the old ways. We just need to work around to see that the basic measurements are put in place for your business to continue. Whoever is not going to adapt, I'm afraid they will have to shut down. Because the status quo has fundamentally been changed and it is to evolve. Before we go, a friend was courageous and confident to have his music festival, Ugandans, at this breathtaking, beautiful venue in Kabale early February. If you haven't already, check out their page on Facebook. And why do I think the brand was courageous? I mean, families have spent so much money over the festive season and people have little or nothing to spend at this time of the year. And in this uh, cash economy, you can imagine, yeah? So going into lockdown, I kind of thought probably they saw this coming. They saw Corona coming. Now, since you mentioned that UTB will be focusing on domestic tourism during and post COVID-19, is it safe to say that all activities might get scratched off the calendar? Nyege Nyege inclusive? No, we are actually in discussion with Nyege Nyege organizers and uh, the plan today, unless if things will change, is actually to go ahead with Nyege Nyege. They mm -hmm. haven't cancelled, but they will do it virtual. Till when that time, will be right to be able to bring large crowds together again. This adaptation we are talking about, people mm. have to adapt. You know, the business owners, but also the consumers have mm. to adapt to the new ways. So domestic tourism, international tourism, it's the same. The changes requires that we have to do things differently because of the economic challenges we are having. People are going to have to cut down on the length of their holidays. It's going to have to be, but I don't think it's going to be for a long time. Because once everybody has, you know, mastered how to work with this challenge, just like we had with the case of 9-11, I mean, who knew that it would become normal for you to just remove your belts, remove your shoes to pass through the scanner? Yeah, it has become so normal. You don't even think about it. It's automatic. There are things we used to carry in our handbags. You know that it's not allowed mm. for security reasons. You don't carry it, and it has become part of us. So in the same way, it's a matter of time that we are all going to accept these new norms and they will become part of us and people will travel as if there has never been any problem. And as such, it's not just a matter of getting the tourism industry's engine restarted. Like agencies, communicators, creatives should be really working closely with the Ministry of Tourism and Antiquities and its agencies like the UTB, the Uganda Wildlife Authority to help understand and where possible define the evolution of post-COVID-19 tourism. We are very optimistic that soon enough we'll be able to, and through a different lens, explore the world with a newfold appreciation. We thank you so much, Miss Lily, for your time. It's my pleasure. And good luck with steering the ecosystem out of this situation. We are confident we will all come back stronger, better, and bigger. If you want to check out the previous live sessions, go to their Facebook page, Visit Uganda on Facebook, for more detail. Thank you so much. Thank you too. Okay. Special thanks go out to Chad Matovu, the sound engineer, Umisha Jiwala for the sounds of Uganda music soundtrack, Michael Muller and Amanda Felistuama. Oh, <laughs>